Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an infill with me in real time, the entire time, except for parts that are like redundant. I fast forward and then the filing cause it takes, I mean, it didn't take too long, but it definitely took longer and it'd be boring for you guys. So I pushed back my cuticles and here I am taking my cuticle bit and just getting the dead skin. I know it's kind of grody and I always have a lot. And this doesn't seem actually too bad because some of my other videos I get a lot, but I'm a pecker. I know it's terrible and I tend to pick my cuticles or push my cuticles back quite often. So that's why half the time you don't really see like that um, white part like really really far out it's usually pretty bad people always think that i have a russian manicure which means they get rid of everything they i don't i just push back i mean you can see a little bit of that white on my pinky but i'm a habitual like cuticle pusher <laughs> is that like a thing so here i am taking a cone bit and i'm just going over the enhancement here i also don't have my drill up very like fast because I want to keep it in really good control looking for lifting and anything that may like stick out so again I may have pulled it off camera to look a little bit closer because filming is not necessarily the best to do the best nails that you could possibly can because you know you have camera and lights and things really far away from you and your nails it's it can be challenging okay so yeah, I am taking the cone bit and just going around the sides again, not touching my natural nail. You can even see in some of the angles that I'm not even towards the edge, like the full edge there, like towards the back of the cuticle. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this and I'll catch you in a minute. Faulty game, in other words, 
just wiping off that dust. And here, the reason I wipe off that dust is so I can have a really good look because I am touching my natural nail now. So I'm taking a fine sanding band and I have this on a very, very low speed. And I am taking off whatever cuticle is left and creating some friction on the nail. Not like really rough spots, but trying to keep it so the gel can stick and it kind of blends the enhancement that's currently on my nail into my natural nail. So there's not gonna be like a lift, like, cause if you know the cone bit, I kind of wasn't 100% towards the back, but wasn't also not towards the back, but this really creates a flat surface for the new gel to enhance, no, not enhance, adhere and not have like a ridge. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So once that is complete, we will move on to add in some stuff to my nails. So I am taking Vita Prime and just on the new growth quickly, just doing a little swipe there. You can see I just quickly did that, didn't really rub it in because it spreads. So I let that dry. And then I come in with TAC, which is a very liquidy, um, bonding gel. So this is what I'm using to adhere the new enhancements to the old enhancements. Sorry about that. My cat is just playing with something and it's driving me crazy. Yeah, so I'm going to apply that to all of my nails and I'm going to continue it all the way down my nail. So not just on the new growth, I do it on the enhancements as well, which is just gel that I had on for the last three weeks. So that's three weeks of growth. I don't know if I had mentioned that. And now I'm taking gelish foundation and this is the first gel quote unquote that I am putting on my nails. Tack is technically like a really thin gel, but... I like to do a gelish foundation or a base coat that's clear, and then I come in with clear again, but this time I actually don't come in with clear. I just come in with that really light pink because it's a pretty neutral background as well. But I'm going to put this again all over the nail, and it is a gel. And you can use this on like a soak off, so, like if I'm done with nails, I could come back and file it really low and then this would just be a soak off, which I like that towards like, like I'd like that flexibility is kind of what I'm trying to say. I know I'm a little bit of a mess. It's kind of late. It's 11 o'clock at night on Saturday the 3rd. So I don't know when you're actually gonna see this, probably in the middle of November. All right, so now I'm taking Soft Pink Extreme. So in this original tutorial, which I can link above, I did the, oh my gosh, I'm totally calling a blank here. It's the Builder Gel, but it was a, I think it's Pink Builder Gel. So I'm not doing that in this one. I am just taking the Baby Pink Extreme, which is what I used on top to create the apex and really do the blending of the baby boomers. So now that we got that out of the way, you can see I did a very thin slip layer and I'm not taking too much gel and I'm placing it on and then just running it down side to side, pushing it back towards the cuticles and then fading it down. Again, you don't wanna use too much here because the problem you're gonna run into is covering up those baby boomers. I mean, you can file down, no worries here, but I personally like to do a little bit less because I already have the nails. So again, we didn't file any thickness down. So keep that in mind when you are doing this type of, I don't wanna say activity, cause that's really lame, but this type of infill is that you didn't do any of the work and have to rebuild it. I think this took me 40 minutes, including me filming it, which I think is uh, pretty good and pretty quick. So, you know, I may do this again because I think it'd be fun to do, okay, you have, let's say you have these nails on and then you're like, well, I kind of want a solid color now, or I just want to do a different one. You don't need to file 
everything back. And that's the beauty of doing this type of quick infill. I hope that makes sense. So again, I am just taking the Baby Pink Extreme and just very, very thin coats. Because if you think about this, when you do your nails originally, you don't put a lot back by the cuticle. You do your slip layer, because I always do my slip layer, well, 90% of the time. And then you place the bead down, just like I'm doing here, and then you push back. Well, the difference is you don't have a lot to go down the nail, so less is more. If you need to put more, go ahead and put more on, but less is more with this. I'm, I kid you not, I cannot stress that enough. Less is more. So coming in again, slowly, this is real time. This is me actually doing it real time, which I think is kind of nice for you guys to see pretty much the whole application real time. And that way you guys get a feel of either the quickness or slowness, however you guys want to look at it. But I enjoy doing my nails. It's kind of like me time. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. So yes, I completed all those. And then I decided to come in with baby pink, soft pink extreme. I'm sorry. I think I said that wrong the entire time here because I did do a clear base originally down on this. I don't know if I like this. I don't think it made it foggy, but it might have made it foggy because there is that pink to it. But I, I don't know, because then I put glitter over it. You know, I don't, so I don't know. So this is being your bonnet, which is what is the main base all over the nail here. And you can see I'm not pushing it 100% up into those cuticles because you don't want the gel to touch your cuticle. So you wanna leave one to two millimeters. And if you know how tiny that is, I mean, you can see how tiny that is. That is not a lot of room. And especially since I have like, puffy fingers. I don't know if that's like a word, but the back towards the cuticle area, like my nails kind of puff over, like it's not like straight down. I don't know if that's going to make sense. Anyway, so this is Grace Kelly, which is what I put all over the nail after I did be in your bonnet. So I am taking one step here. I have cured everything. Everything is up to date. And the reason I'm taking one step is I'm doing it all over every single nail. It's very thin layer. It's so I can very lightly file, like very lightly file and not lose any, let's say depth to the nail. Like I just want to file and like get a smooth top. Does that make sense? So by adding this clear layer, this is optional. You don't have to because the baby pink soft pink extreme i think i said baby pink the soft pink extreme does not need to be embedded so you can file right with that and to be honest i could have just i think one step is just kind of or cool gel any type of clear gel for me is a habit <laughs> so i tend to do it every single time even if i have like a big enough apex i don't know it's just i think it's all mental so here I wiped off the nails and I'm filing, filing, filing. This is at 800% and I pushed back the cuticles and I go out of frame, in frame, you know, I'll let you watch it. What does perfect even mean? Such a thing Ooh, Can we switch up all the rules And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me To get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside all right, now that the stamping is done, we're here with the top coat. We're using flat matte and super shiny. So this is going to finish up the quick infill. I hope you guys found this helpful and hopefully I explained it 
enough or well enough because sometimes I feel like I can't get my point across, but by me showing the video, I think I kind of get it across. Sometimes I just stumble here. I think with voiceovers and like things that are going fast and slow, I kind of have to figure out the rhythm and I'm getting there, I promise. I hope these are improving. And I hope this was very helpful for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.